Good morning. It's Monday morning here in London. A few months ago, I was invited to a, an inaugural initiative by Dr. Jordan Peterson. He said this, Dear Scott Jensen, I'm writing on behalf of the Alliance for Responsible Citizenship to invite you personally to attend our inaugural conference in London, October 30, 31, and November 1st. I was flattered and thrilled to say yes. The other day I spent the entire day touring Cambridge University and Oxford University. And as such, I couldn't help but be struck by the presence and the influence of C.S. Lewis. This morning, my meditation was from C.S. Lewis. And in it, C.S. Lewis gives this reminder. He said, we have to be continually reminded of what we believe. Beliefs don't necessarily automatically remain alive in the mind. I think there's a lot of truth in that. Specifically, I think COVID-19 has taught us one thing, perhaps more than any other, and that is hold fast to the beliefs you profess. That's a verse from Ephesians. Excuse me. That's a verse from Hebrews 4.14. 4, and as such, I think that we need to recognize that patients have been, if you will, minimized at times during COVID-19. I am absolutely struck by the news here in England over the last couple days, as well as that in America, where we're seeing more and more reports of the combination of a COVID-19 vaccine at the same time as an influenza vaccine now appears on a preliminary basis to potentially increase the risk of stroke. We've had multiple centers identify this in the United States and here in England it's being discussed as well. Again, getting a COVID-19 vaccine and an influenza vaccine on the same day appears to ramp up the risk of subsequent stroke. Now we have seen previously numerous articles and research concerning the issue of the COVID-19 vaccine ramping up the risk of stroke alone. But now we're seeing with COVID-19 and influenza at the same time. So let's just step back. Yes, we're hearing from university researchers and physicians now that, gee, maybe it'd be a good idea to not take the vaccines at the same time. Dr. Marks from the FDA is saying, well, perhaps it's a good idea to put two weeks in between each vaccine. No kidding. I mean, folks, this is common sense. We are right now dealing with three RNA respiratory viruses, COVID-19, influenza, and RSV. RSV stands for respiratory syncytial virus. Each one of these now has a vaccine of, if you will, marginal success that's still to be determined in some situations. Certainly every year we have to make an assessment of how good was the influenza vaccine. But each one of these RNA viruses has a vaccine to go with it. The RSV is relatively new. Now, as such, as a physician in the trenches, I'm seeing lots of people with rhinitis, coryza, runny nose, scratchy throat, cough. And I frequently don't know which virus my patient has. But for me, as a physician in the trenches, it's important for me to make the distinction. Do you have a viral illness, which is going to take some time and perhaps uh, some ibuprofen or Tylenol and push fluids and some rest? Or is it a bacterial infection that might require and benefit from an antibiotic? But I frequently don't know if I'm dealing with COVID or influenza or RSV or simply a rhinovirus, which is frequently the common cause of a cold. And that also is a respiratory RNA virus. But the idea that we had these, quote, experts telling us, oh, yeah, take the vaccines all at once, just get it done. And now we're finding problems with that. Well, doesn't it stand to reason that if we're asking our immune system to, if you will, create a response that will create antibodies so that we can be protected down the road if we come across one of these viruses? Doesn't it make sense that we'd want the immune system to focus on this antigen and then maybe a couple weeks later on this antigen and a couple weeks later on this antigen? Patients in my practice for years and decades 
have exhibited this kind of common sense. They didn't need to be told by, quote, experts who initially said, oh no, get them both at the same time, get them all at the same time, have at it. Patients, you need absolutely to hold fast to your beliefs. Common sense is coming from you. It certainly isn't coming from the media with their preconceived and predetermined narrative. And it isn't coming from our academic centers because they seem to have been swallowed up in this notion that somehow patients can't think for themselves. If we have learned one thing through COVID-19, it is that patients are far more equipped than they might have been led to believe by the so-called experts. So if you're going to take vaccines and you want to spread them apart, that makes sense. And if you're not going to take vaccines, whoever your physician is should support your decision because you get to be in charge of your own health care. Truly, here in London, just as in the United States, it's the everyday people who get up in the morning, go to work, say hi to their neighbors, work with their colleagues at work, that are so oftentimes just using common sense and getting through the challenges we have to get through. And to all of you folks, I say, hold fast to the beliefs you profess because you're not wrong. And you need to be reminded, as C.S. Lewis said, you need to be reminded of the validity and the common sense of the beliefs you hold. And don't let some academic or some mainstream media person take it away from you. Because slowly but surely, they're coming around to recognizing that you're not such a fool. I'm looking forward to the conference and meeting Jordan Peterson, and I'll give you more reports along the way. Scott Jensen, thank you.